Welcome to using Google Calendar with Blackboard or Course Sites. Before we can add a calendar to Blackboard, we need to go ahead and create this calendar. Now, I've already gone ahead and logged into my Google account, but what you'll need to do is go to google.com, click on the nine little boxes here, locate the calendar tab or icon, click on it, and go ahead and log on in. Now as you can see, again I've stated I've already logged in. Now to log in with a Google account, you can either use Gmail, your business account, if you have an educational account under Google. Otherwise, if you don't have one, you'll need to create one. It's free, it's pretty easy to set up. And once you've done that, go ahead and do what I've just shown you. Next, we need to go ahead and create a calendar. So first, do not click on create. This will actually create an event. Instead, you want to locate My Calendars, and then you'll want to click on the little down arrow right here. Click on Create New Calendar. We get a new calendar settings. We can add calendar name, description, location, United States. The most important thing about this, though, is that you make this calendar public. You can make it private, but Blackboard will have issues with it, so I recommend that you make this calendar public. So we go ahead, we make it public. What are we going to call the calendar? Class description. This is a calendar. Location, USA, or wherever you're located. Go ahead, click Create Calendar. We get this warning saying, by the way, you created a public calendar. Anybody on the web can now find it and see the information on it. So we go ahead, we click yes, we wait a second, and then underneath my calendars, you'll see a new calendar created, this one example, class. Now for this example, I'm not going to be using class, I'm going to be creating one or using one that I've already created. So I'm going to click on Japanese 121. As you can see, I've already got fields populated, so it'll let us see content when we add it. Next, what we not want to do is log into our Blackboard or Course Sites. So I've already gone ahead and logged in. Uh, I'm creating a sample page for this example. And then what we need to do is we need to click on My Courses. Under My Courses, wherever it might be located on your page, mine's Japanese One. After you click on it, what you'll need to do to make sure you can add the calendar is make sure that you click on the word Off, where it says Edit Mode is Off. If it says it's on, you're already fine. If it's off, you need to click it, and it'll turn in edit or turn Editing Mode on. Now that editing mode is on, we can create a new page. So what you'll do is you'll come over here to the left, and you'll click on the plus sign, or hover over the plus sign, and you can create a blank page, module page, content area, item. For this example, we're actually going to click on blank page. We're going to name it calendar say available to users, click submit, wait for it to load, and now on the page what you'll want to do is you need to click on this double down arrow. What this does is it extends the editor preview or the buttons that you can use. So notice now we have more options to edit with. Next, what you'll want to do is click over to the tab with Google Calendar because we're going to want to create an iframe. And you'll see what this is. So go ahead, click on it. Now, under your newly created calendar, click on the down arrow to the right of it. Click on Calendar Settings on this new pop up. 
And then you see this little thing called the iframe, where you can customize the color, the size, the and other options. So go ahead and click on Customize Color, Size, and Other Options. If you have knowledge of HTML, you can honestly just copy this content right here, but you'll have to understand how to change the width, the height, the style, scrolling, border, so forth and so on. This is a little button that actually does it for you. So it opens it up in a new tab, and we see a preview of our calendar. I found the best solution for width size is to actually set your width here on the left to 600. Type in 600, press the tab key, and you'll see it automatically update and change the size. Next, on the left here, you can set the calendar title if you want. So let's, let's say calendar, press tab. Notice it changes it to calendar, or we want to just call it Japanese 121, so it doesn't say anything but that. Next, you can choose the show, the title, the navigation, date, icons. We're actually going to leave that alone. And then you can set it up to where you can show weekly, monthly, and then there's agenda. And when you add in the calendar into Blackboard itself, you can actually change this yourself. So for this example, we're actually going to leave it at agenda. Next, just to make sure, click on Update HTML, expand the window by clicking on this corner, pulling it out, and then go ahead and copy this content that says iframe. Now that you've copied it, click on your Blackboard tab, find your new page. Do not paste this in yet. Click on the HTML code view. Now, how do you see that? If you don't see it, you need to click on this little down arrow, which will change to a double up arrow and allow you to see more options. So we click on HTML, we get a new pop-up window. Next, right-click, paste, update. And we get this little yellow box. You're wondering, why can't I see it? Don't worry about that. You'll be able to see it in the preview mode. So we go ahead, we click Submit. And there's our newly created calendar. I can change it in month, week, however I like. 600 works because, well, if somebody has a lower resolution screen, I'm rocking a 30 inch or so screen. And it's just best to uh, keep it at a width that everybody can use. Lastly, another great feature about this is that Google Calendar can be integrated into other people's Google accounts or their mobile applications. You don't have to pay for the Blackboard app. It can just sync in and they can get their updates.